Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Hey, uh, what we're doing today is we're going to replace the front wheel bearings in my Dyna here. Um, we got about 55,000 miles on it or so, and I know they eventually do go out. They've, they've been known to be problematic, you know, especially guys getting over 60,000 on them and stuff. So, fairly straightforward repair, uh, maybe a step above basic hand tools, but average guys should be able to do this in their garage. Might take a couple trips to the tool store, but it's not too bad. Um, so, going to get right to it here. All right. So here we are ready to take the wheel bearings out. So there is, this is your bearing, is your inner race, your bearing here. And down in here, you can see it. You'll see that little chrome lip down in there. All right, so there's a spacer in between the two outer bearings. Um, that makes sure when you tighten up your axle, all the tension stays on the inner race and doesn't side load the bearings. But, you gotta get this sucker out of here. So I'm gonna try my best to do this with the camera and everything. So easiest way is take something like a screwdriver or something, and you can usually not today knock that little spacer out of alignment enough that you can then drive it on through so we're going to take the little punch right here like i said this might be a little bit of a challenge right there we caught the lip it's be a little bit of a challenge to do this on camera all right and that knocked the you can see down there that knocked our uh, spacer out there so we have a little bit of a shelf there now Maybe. There we are. All right, so the big challenge when you're doing this is the fact when you're driving down on this bushing, you're also driving the bearing out the other side. So you need to make sure the wheel is elevated. Whoop. I got a lot of junk on my workbench here, but I got pieces of wood over here spacing out, so I'm also not hitting the brake rotor. So don't have to worry there. Trying my best of lighting here so you can see that little lip down there. So the goal is we're gonna try and catch that with something. Like a punch, or this time we're going to try a flathead screwdriver. Oh, hey, there we go. And we got the knockoff center. There we are. And it looks like I put a ding in that spacer, so I'm going to have to take a file and clean it up after I'm done. Oh boy, this is motherfucker. All right, bear with my camera, Billy's here. So I got the spacer knocked out of whack on the other side, and now I'm gonna knock it off center from this side. So. This is one uncooperative son of a bitch today. Ah, Jesus, fuck. Here, you want to see some serious pain in the ass shit? All right, ever wonder why they always go well on TV? Well, on YouTube, sometimes they don't, and this is one of the don'ts. <clears throat> so here's what I end up having to do. I can't get the spacer to move inside, so I'm disassembling the bearing. Took a screw. See what we got going on in there? There, I knocked the seal out. Basically, I'm going to knock all that shit out, and then the inner race is going to fall right out of here. Then I'll be able to knock the spacer out going the other direction. So. Not sure why there's fucking hair all over everything.
lot of hammering and grinding later. I got the arrays to pop out. You know. So, now we can get the other side out. Hopefully this will happen a lot easier. Alright. 15 16 socket in this case. We're going to take that. We're going to put that down in there. We're going to take our BFH. It's all lined up down in there onto the spacer. Wheel is uh, supported so the brake rotor isn't sitting on anything on the other side. We're going to hit it like we got a pair. Hopefully it moved. And again. Turn my drum on. And there you can see, whoops, sorry. Whoop. You can see right here, the bearing is starting to come out. So, I'm going to put it back down there, check our clearance again, take our socket, put it back down on there. Realign it every single time. Don't miss. And uh, it's scooting right on out of there nicely. We're gonna take a, uh, we're gonna take 13 sixteenths. It's a little, a little less shoulder contact. It'll still work. And uh, sounds like we hit the workbench. Hey, look, they're in. There's the old wheel bearing. Was that a royal pain in the ass? You bet your ass it was. It was a giant pain in the ass. So now we have to get in here with a file. You see that? Whoop. Those little burrs down in there? This way, there we are. Yeah, I'm have to get in there with a file and clean all those up. I'm trying to knock it out of whack. Uh, I even see if the local shop has a new one of these, but really, I'm probably getting there with a file, clean it up. There's the old bearing. I don't know how they know if they're bad. Well, they'll have like a grinding or rough or bump or anything like that in there. These ones actually feel fine, but took them out, so they're getting replaced. So. To be continued. Alright, here we are. Got the uh, puller down in here on that outer race that's still on the rim. This turned into a massive pain. So we got the slide hammer. Got from advanced auto parts here. So, got the puller set up so it grabs that inner, outer race there. The inside of the outer race. And, fuck. Hours later, nightmare of bearing removal later. Uh, I already got the bearing in the other side, uh, so we're going to take our sleeve here. It's clean. I deburred it, took all the little nicks off it, everything I put into it. This just slides right on through there, sits in place like so. And we're going to take our uh, new bearing here. We're going to give it a little penetrating oil. Uh, some would argue it's not necessary because everything takes up space, including oil, but I'm doing it anyways. Find a rag here. Put my hands off. And we're gonna take the old bearing right here. This is the one that came out in one piece, not the other one. And we're gonna hold this up here. We're gonna use that as the driver, and we're only gonna hit the outer edge of the, or the outer race on the old bearing, and that should transfer force into the new bearing, but only in the outer race. So. Gonna go back and forth here, nice and evenly. Clean the top and the bottom. You can tell it's going in if it doesn't bounce. Metal on metal will bounce. It'll bounce the hammer back.
check of progress. Look at that, we're almost in there. Let's see if we can't move the camera here so you can see a little better what's going on. So, like I said before, take your old bearing up here. And then, out of races. Whoop. Not a professional cameraman. But you get the idea here. Let me go catch up. Hang on. I'm going to knock the dirt off of that. We're just going to keep tapping on it there. Rotate a little bit there. There. You can see Santa up there. Thing from my childhood. Light up Santa. I think we're almost all the way down in there. We'll know when the hammer bounces back. Oh, there you go. Hear that? Shit again on time. Some bitch rings like a church bell. So you know that bearing. See it all the way down in there. Everything spins as it should along the spacer. Now, put it back on the bike. Just reverse the process of disassembly. Make sure everything's clean, lubed, all your spacers in order. You're ready to rock and roll. Well, wheel bearings are in. Uh, yeah. Uh, every once in a while I do a project where I realize halfway through, holy shit, this was a giant pain in the ass. I should have spent the money on the proper specialty tools instead of trying to do it without. Because holy crap. Um, just so you know, the Harley part number for the special tool is HD-44060. They are for sale for $60 on Amazon. Looks like money would have been well spent there. Especially when you figure they probably smoked a $60 Dremel, you know, getting the thing out. Yeah. So anyways, that's how you do wheel bearings on a specialty tool. Now we'll just put the wheel back on the reverse process and sure, ready to rock and roll. Lesson learned.